All right, Tina Hahn is here, and you're from the Baxter County Conservation District. Yes. And you've you've brought a display, and I, I think have we're going to beautification tree project. Okay. Which we do every year. At and this it's once time. a year you do this project. Yes. yes, we do. They're all conservation grade, but conservation grade doesn't mean they're not good quality trees. They're very hardy mm -hmm. and they're very good. Uh, what the are the different? What's the different grades? The the reason why they're called conservation grade is because um, usually nurseries will pick out the uh, specific trees that are higher priced because they're perfect. They, you know, they don't have any kind of a king or oh. anything like that. But in okay. nature, everything's not perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. kind of what they call the conservation grade. There might be a little kink in it somewhere or something like that. And it doesn't grow perfectly straight or symmetrical. Okay. But um, other than that, they're very hardy trees. Which is actually normal if... Uh, if it exactly. looks like, it looked exactly. like a regular yeah. tree. Yeah. Something so, that you find okay. in the wild. And now you're offering how many different selections here? I think there's like 13, okay. maybe, 13. 12, okay. 13. Now, you said there's going to be two years old. How yes. large are they going to be? Uh, it depends on the tree. Uh, some of them average around 4'11", and then some are All as, uh, I'm 5'8", I'm with barefoot. And they're so you're going to get a I tree am. that's oh, probably really? going to grow. Yes. Yes. depending on the type of tree and how so fast it grows. So some could be kind of difficult to get in the ground? No, they won't be because they're they're not going to have a stock that's more than you know that size. Okay. Because they're only two years old. But like uh, the crepe myrtle trees mm -hmm. and uh, the red bud trees, those will be quite tall. They're not right. going to be huge width wise, mm -hmm. but they will be tall. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the dogwood is usually the shortest of them all. Okay. Because they're a little bit thicker, more like this, but they don't grow that tall, yeah. that fast. Yeah. And the conservation district has all kinds of uh, information and, and suggestions on how to get them in the ground. Yes, properly we have and instructions, kind of and I do have these uh, booklets that I have made together. I don't have this one stapled together, but it has all the pictures of each tree, has mm -hmm. a little description of each of the trees, how big they will get, and uh, you can pick those up at the Baxter County Conservation District, or I can email them to them if somebody calls if they have an email address. Mm -hmm. Where do you grow these trees throughout the year? I mean, where, where do you grow them? Where, where uh, do they come uh, from? I'm we get them from a nursery in Missouri. Okay. And we've been doing this for years. Yeah, mm -hmm. so these are all trees that will flourish in this area. Yes, okay, if you take good. care of them properly and put them in the ground and water them, uh, especially during these hot times that we have, like mm -hmm. last year when it was, uh, <laughs> we had that drought, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if you take good care of them, uh, you shouldn't have a problem. Okay, when will they arrive? Or when, you know, the orders? I'll cut the order off time at March 14th. March. That's when I'll send the order into the nursery, okay. and then they come in the first week of April. All right, and they need to be put in the ground, obviously. Yes, and I call everybody. I have people help call uh, for me and mm -hmm. come as soon as possible to pick the trees up and get them in the ground mm -hmm. and we also do special orders on fruit trees and I have very few people that have ever complained that the, the they didn't have any problem with their trees the only ones that you might if you didn't do something right when you planted it mm -hmm. you planted in rocky soil and given enough foundation mm -hmm. to get started or something like that or neglected to water it during the hottest times but so they're hardy if you take care yes, of them. Mm -hmm. I planted several myself yeah and tell us about the fruit trees that that are available uh, I can special order fruit trees, but they're not going to be in pots. They mm -hmm. will be bare root, so that's a really important thing. You need to come and get them as soon as possible. Okay. We've had several people, mm -hmm. especially last year, that uh, really want to get into having their own sort of um, food source mm -hmm. at their house. So they've been ordering fruit trees. Uh, so you like get apple, apples, pear, cherries, pears, cherry. peaches, uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. nectarines, plums. And fruit in trees. fact, I yeah. planted a, uh, apple, two apples and two cherries myself. Oh, really? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to mm -hmm. infusing. They're going to be semi dwarf, so it won't take too long, two years, three years, and oh, okay. actually should start yeah. seeing them bear fruit if you take care of them properly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, how much are these trees? They, they average from $15 to $18. Oh, wow. Depending on the tree. Very, very expensive. For that tall Thank of a tree. Yeah. I was going to say like 50 or 75 bucks a tree. No, no, oh, no they're a very wonderful. reasonable price. Yeah, yeah, we try to do this as a. As a a source of mm -hmm. something that people can have at a reasonable price. Uh, we don't make very much money off it. We're non. We we don't make very much money off anything. We're not mm -hmm. really a nonprofit or organization, but we uh, do try to make a little bit of money to help support the conservation district and what we do for the people here. Mm -hmm. in what Baxter all County. trees do you have over there? Uh, we have a maple. Mm -hmm. uh, which is this one here. This is a yellow wood. I have okay. one of these in my yard. Beautiful, I bet. And it it does golden leaves in the fall, mm -hmm. uh, but it blooms these beautiful kind of cascading type flowers in the spring uh, and then let's see we've got the golden rain tree mm -hmm. and uh, the mosa which is a very drought tolerant oh, tree yeah. mm -hmm. and then we have down here is the fringe tree and this is what it looks like all bloomed up and there's a close-up of the fringe it looks mm -hmm. like confetti yeah. really when it's blooming all over the place 
Uh, of course, the maple, and then we have the tulip tree and the tulip, what the tulip looks like. Uh, we have the purple smoke tree, uh, the red bud is right below it, and then the down below here is the flowering uh, cherry tree. That's what it looks like in the summer, but there's the flowers on it mm -hmm. down at the bottom. The dogwood, and then we have two magnolias this year that I'm offering. Mm. One of them does have the leaves to stay uh, green in the in the winter. Okay. I believe the big it, waxy looking leaves. Yes, yes. I uh -huh. believe that's the one that's in the pink. Mm -hmm. And then the sweet bay, the white one, it does lose its le its leaves. Mm -hmm. And then we have the uh, little button bush. It's mm -hmm. a little bush that I come across from a lady that called me about it. I think last year and she wanted one mm -hmm. and uh, the nursery did offer it and it's a flowering it it looks just like that it's kind of like almost mm. like et look <laughs> yeah, it's a weird looking alien yes. type of thing yes it is but it is uh, a po it loves pollinate of uh, butterflies and all those kind of pollinating um, insects and stuff like that mm -hmm. love mm. it because it's very fragrant mm, okay. and uh, so and then we have our uh, crab apples i have two different varieties of crab apples um, and they they have beautiful blooms. And one thing when I was doing my research, I found out that deers don't like crab apple trees. So if anybody's <laughs> having a problem and wants flowering trees in their yard, I guess they can order crab apple trees because <laughs> oh, the deer well, won't eat them. People complain all. I mean, I, you see deer right here in the middle of town. I know. So yeah. uh, it's not as bad as it is around bull shows, but very inexpensive, fifteen to eighteen dollars. Yes. And they need to call you. Yes, at, at uh, four two five mm -hmm. three five two seven extension three. And I'll be glad to help you with whatever, or whatever you Or Baxter need. County Conservation the District. Baxter County we, Conservation District, Brown West Wade Street, over by the old bowling alley. Yeah, cutoff date mm -hmm. is March, March 14th. March 14th. Uh -huh. So you've got about a month. Get your right. orders in. Right. Oh, Quick. how exciting. That's Tina, cool. Tina, thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you I for coming it. by. All right, let's go and uh, switch gears. We'll have a, a big uh, group. A big group. A big group. No, 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 next. no. They're not big. They're taking off pounds sensibly. Oh, then. that's good. And like let's not that. refer to They don't like the word big. It's a boisterous group. Large? No, 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 Huge? no. Huge? No, 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 no. A uh, <coughs> gregarious group. Oh, that, that's politically uh, neutral. Correct. Okay, yes, I like that is. one. Yeah, it has under the size. How do you spell that so I can know how to say it the next time? <laughs> <Which> <laughs> I won't, I won't R G A R O, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk to the TOPS group. Oh, Daniel. In just a couple it's minutes. Sad. Stay with us. It really is. <laughs>